everybody <clears throat> welcome back to the uh, red fox outdoors channel got another video coming at you today um, what we're gonna do today is we've got two different hammocks I'm gonna do two two separate videos for them uh, I got asked to do these reviews uh, by some people in the channel so uh, without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and get that started uh, give me a minute and we'll be right back Okay, we're back all right so what I have here is the Ridge outdoor gear um, <clears throat> half moon hammock the next video that I'm gonna be doing is on the Ridge outdoor gears uh, pinnacle 180 which is a different hammock but for today I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one here this is the Ridge outdoor gears half moon hammock it's a it's a double hammock and it all fits in this little pocket here and it comes with two eight foot straps for attaching to the trees and we're going to go ahead and set that up and we'll show you what it looks like and I'll tell you about my experience with it and some of the issues and troubles that I had and um, I will say this Ridge Outdoor Gear has the best customer service I've ever had um, the past two hammocks that I had from them I had issues with where um, the stitching came undone from around where the uh, carabiners attach to the hammock and um, or the what they call their strap thing whatever it's attached to the hammock itself uh, the hammock started ripping away from those and the uh, ridge line on it broke uh, so that was on the first one uh, the second one that I had uh, I sat down in it, didn't have it two days, and the um, ridge line on it snapped. So I sent it back, and I got to talking with Ridge Outdoor Gear, and they've come up with a solution in their uh, Pinnacle 180 and their Pinnacle 360 models. What they've done is they've taken and added a metal um, like cable that goes across the ridge line to make it a bit stronger. So that the uh, ridge lines will stop snapping. So great improvement for Ridge Outdoor Gear. Definitely a thumbs up on that and they listened to the feedback that I had for them and they found a solution and got it fixed. So let me go ahead and set up the Half Moon and I'll give you some uh, stuff about it. So let me get started. So as I said it comes in this little pocket here and it comes with the two little eight foot straps that attach to the trees and so let me get those hung up real quick <clears throat> just wrap around the tree and then you can like raise it up to whatever height you want and you want it to be about a 30 degree hang from the straps so this one here I may end up having to wrap around the tree a couple of times just to make it make it work but we'll see Okay, got that done. All right, so it comes with uh, the carabiners already in place. They're already attached to the, the hammock straps. Um, supposedly they hold about 300 pounds, uh, at least according to them anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wrap this one a couple of times here. It's too low. that there. Let's see how this one hangs. 
I don't remember what side the pocket's on, so I gotta get it all out of its pocket first. Okay, good, I did hang it right. Awesome, okay. Alright, so it looks like I'm gonna have to wrap this strap as well. Okay, so <clears throat> as you can see, it's got the little pocket there on the front. This is the Ridge Outdoor Gears Half Moon. Already comes pre preset with the Ridge Line, and it is a 550 type paracord, but it's the smaller, um, it's not the large 550, it's the small. So, a good little hammock. Really not a lot of issues with it. Um, it is a, like I said, it is a double hammock. And what that means is it's just, it's more room. They say it's supposed to hold two people uh, up to 300 pounds. But I don't see how that's possible because I am uh, like 230. So the other person that would be in the hammock with me would only be like 70 pounds and that's just not possible so um, I I just don't see it happening it's only made probably for mostly one person um, so you know for 300 pounds it would have to be like somebody that's like 150 130 140 you know weight or whatever so um, but for somebody like me there's no way two people are going to get in this thing. Um, now this hammock is extremely comfortable. Uh, it is what they call a lay flat. And what they mean by that is when you get in the hammock, um, you don't lay like a banana in it. You actually kind of turn at a diagonal and lay in it diagonally. And it lays completely flat on the lay. So... Like I said, this thing is plenty of room. Comes with the uh, Noceum bug net. Uh, it has a deal where you can unzip the uh, net. It will not completely remove from the hammock. However, if you unzip it, there is a pocket, I believe, yeah, down here on this end here. Take it, just slide it and put it in this pocket here. It just unzips and goes into this little pocket up here at the end. You can take the whole bug net and just like shove it in that little pocket. Like I said, it won't completely unzip and come off of the hammock. It just unzips to a certain point and then you put it in that little pocket. Uh, <clears throat> the only other issue that I've had, and I'll show you here real quick. And this is the second time I've had this hammock fixed. Is right here. Um, you'll notice where it's kind of ripping away from um, the strap right here. So it's supposed to like tie into this strap some way here and um, there we go. So it's not quite so blurry there. So you can see where it's kind of ripped right there. That's really the only issue that I had with this hammock. And this is, uh, the, this is after it's been fixed. Okay. So um, I've sent it in twice to have it repaired and it's still... I don't know if it's just the because I've had it for so long if the materials just getting old or what but um, this one here I've had for almost 10 years and um, I don't know if it's just because the fabrics like I said if it's just the fabric getting old or what but anyway that's one issue that I've had there um, and then down here you can see kind of the same thing here where they've tried to fix it here and uh, like I said, I think it's just because it's old and that's the issue with it where it's ripping or whatever. So, but 
that's the only two issues I've had besides the um, the paracord for the uh, ridge line here that goes all the way down. So, other than that, I think the newer ones, because of what they've done to fix it, um, sorry for the shakiness, let me put it back over here at the tripod. So, uh, I think that they've actually fixed all the, the issues with this one. This one here was kind of a prototype um, when they first came out what they call their half moon series I tested it for almost a year um, and every month I was giving them feedback on issues that I found problems that I was having with it uh, stuff with the material now this material here is full nylon on this one here um, the later models the newer ones that are out now have what they call a denylon denylon or denylon I don't know how you pronounce it but the newer ones have the denylon uh, bottom on it, and it has a different bug net on it now. Uh, it has what they call a noceum bug net. Uh, absolutely fantastic net. Love it. Uh, it's actually a darker color than this gray one. The, the one that they've got now is a black one uh, that goes over these, and it's absolutely fabulous. Um, it does have the little hooks for your, uh, like your under quilt. So you can attach your under quilts to them. It's got the little, the little straps and the little um, clips for that. Um, it also has a place inside where it has the same little tabs and stuff inside of it for an over quilt if you want to put your over quilt inside of it. Um, sleeps very comfortably. I've had zero issues other than just the, the ends of it ripping and the ridge line breaking on it twice. So. Anyway, this is after they fixed it twice, and it, like I said, it's old. It's probably now going on 12 years old, maybe, I think. Yeah, 10 or 12 years old, something like that. So I think it's just the fabric is getting old, and I, I don't use this one as often as I use my Pinnacle 180. So this is actually a very, very, very good hammock. Um, for a starter hammock, it's great absolutely great um, now I'm gonna do a review on the Pinnacle 180 later but this one here like I said um, you got your mesh pocket or your pocket for your gill here um, these are what the carabiners and straps came in it was just a little Ziploc bag so that goes down in the pocket nice thing about this pocket being on the outside is at night say you want to like have a bottle of water with you or uh, something like that you can put your water bottle and stuff down in here and you can have a way to get to drink at night or something like that um, this one also has let me unzip it here real quick okay, on the inside here it has a little pocket so you got a pocket for your cell phone to go in here and then a place to put your keys and change and um, whatever else you got you can put it in this little mesh pocket here like I said it's got a space for your cell phone here um, so it just moves along this this ridge line here and this here I've had zero issues out of love it it works great um, I've stored my keys my wallet my change everything I've had in my pockets pretty much gets put in this at night uh, the only stuff that gets put in here is stuff that has like my can openers and stuff that has like an open blade or something like that because I don't want it ripping through this here at night so I just put it down in here in the pocket excellent excellent little starter hammock their half moon series it is a double like I said so it gives you more room to, uh, to lay flat um, I'll just show you real quick so what you'll do is once you get it hung um, I'm going to leave my shoes on for this because I don't feel like taking them off but ah, shit. there we go Okay, so all right, so I'm 
don't know if you can actually see me or not, but I'm actually laid completely flat. I'm laying on a diagonal, and this thing is very, very, very comfortable. You got the, the bug net, so you don't have to worry about bugs bothering you, getting up inside of it, anything like that. Very, very comfortable. Like I said, this in here is 100% nylon on the bottom. They have since upgraded to the denylon. And uh, very, very comfortable. Like I said, I've had this now almost 12 years. And uh, so there you go, guys. Um, you may have different, you know, uh, different issues with yours I don't know hopefully no more issues since they fixed all this uh, in their later series in the half moon series uh, they do come in two different colors they come in the blue like this or they come in a uh, kind of a bright orange so you got the blue here and then you got the blue down here and then on the other ones you got an orange on that end and an orange on this end as well so you can get it in the two separate colors, the blue and orange. Um, everything comes with it. Now, what I've done in the past um, that may save you some headaches, because uh, the eight-foot straps, depending on the distance between your trees, sometimes can be a little bit far apart, and the eight-foot straps won't work. So what I did was I went to um, one of the sporting goods stores like Academy or Dick's or someplace like that and I bought me some uh, 12 foot straps to add to it. Now those 12 foot straps make things just go so much faster, so much smoother and easier and so that might be something that you want to consider doing. Now these hammocks do come with, um, or they don't come with it but you have to order it separately but they do have a uh, like a denylon uh, top on it that comes with it that you can order and it just uh, hooks to these little straps here and it's uh, it comes in two different colors you got a black and a white and those I think are like 40 or 50 dollars something like that for those so uh, it's an additional thing that you can add to it now I never bought one just because I use a tarp with mine all the time so I don't worry about the the rain and stuff like that so um, now if the top is something that you're interested in you can purchase that from uh, Ridge Outdoor Gear they do have the two separate tops like I said the black and the white that you can add to these um, it just basically it's just a like a rain tarp that kind of attaches to these little um, little hooks and stuff in the little uh, dills down here on the bottom and it goes on both sides um, so great little hammock um, hopefully y'all can you know maybe buy one and use it uh, hopefully y'all don't have any issues like I said that they've since I've had this one here they've made a ton of upgrades to it um, the two little um, loops that are here on the on the bottom you got one here and one here these little loops uh, in the newer ones have the little clips like these here on the newer one so uh, that way you can attach your under quilt or uh, an over quilt or something like that to it and it has right in the same spot on the inside has the same exact little loops and clips on the inside as well so that way you can add a over quilt or something like that to it so anyway guys there you go there's my review for this. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, we're going to talk about the Pinnacle 180 here uh, after I get this one done. I'll show you how to tear this one apart and we'll put it back in its pocket now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So all I do with mine is I just take it and kind of fold it to about where the pocket is. And then I just kind of start shoving it in the pocket. Kind of like so. Okay, so once I've got one end done, then I just drop it come over here, detach this one, kind of fold it in half, about right where the pocket's at. 
and then just kind of shove the rest of it into the pocket. Alright, so there's that much of it done. Now let me get the straps off the tree. Alright, so uh, the shirt's a little small on me. I need to get me another shirt. Sorry, guys. Alright, so uh, what I do is with the straps is I just kind of get them started rolling and just kind of roll them up. Let me show you here what I'm doing with it. So, kind of see here. It just I just kind of roll it up in a little circle deal because that's the way that they normally come. And as I'm rolling it, I just kind of pull on it to make sure that it's all tight and not loose. Okay, and then just like that, there's your eight foot strap, all folded up. Now I'm not gonna have you sit and watch me do the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one and put it in the pouch and then um, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll get set up and we'll come back here and I'll do a review on the Pinnacle 180 that I've got as well. So it's a bit different than this one here. So hope you guys enjoyed. This was the review for the uh, Ridge Outdoor Gears Half Moon Series. Thanks, and we'll see y'all later, guys. I've been Red Fox of Red Fox Outdoors. Till next time, see you guys. Bye.